sitting here with the band for G-Dragon and Big Bang. In case you don't know, G-Dragon is the king of K-pop. He's the leader of Big Bang. Uh, they just finished a world tour that was 36 cities and sold 650,000 tickets. Big Bang is the biggest K-pop band of all time. They have over 4 billion YouTube views. In 2016, they were averaging $2.6 million per night, which is really high. Um, they've sold 150 million records, which makes them the biggest boy band of all time. Bigger than the Backstreet Boys, bigger than the Jackson 5. They've won virtually every single Asian music award. And uh, so needless to say, this is a very special band right here, really special group of guys, and uh, just gonna dig in a little bit on your experiences in this K-pop world. Played a lot of stadiums, I see from those stats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. And domes, which most, I don't know, I mean, most, not all touring players know the dome experience. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. yeah. That's, a, that's a whole new level exactly. of yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so, what would you say? Because I know you guys play on like American gigs as well. So, what really is the main difference between the K pop live show, the crowd, you know, compared to an American arena act. Well, for me, I would say the crowd and 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 how they um how they receive live music is a lot different than um what we're used to in the states. Mm -hmm. um, they really appreciate like everything and everybody's job like on the tour. They really like appreciate it, and I think that's the biggest difference. They they, they make sure everybody is a part of the production. For the most part, it's, it's very important to them, you know, yeah. to make sure everybody's involved and they're a part of the show and everything. Yeah, it's a great difference between the two, between America and uh, K-pop in Asia. Yeah, you know, and what we've been doing. So how how did a group of American dudes get the biggest K-pop yeah. groups? Um, I mean, like. I mean, I know Gil, so Gil couldn't make it today. Yeah. Music director, um, shout out to Gil. Um, he, he's on already on another gig because you guys just finished that tour. Yeah. So he's in SIR at rehearsals right now. We're here. I'm here with Gil Smith. We tracked him down. Had to come uh, into we're at GEZ rehearsal right now because you just. You just working, man. You jumped right into the next one. How did this come about for you? I mean, you got the call. It all started with. Big Bang, and uh, just shout out to all the guys, the band Six. Um, shout out to you guys. Thanks for holding it down. I was working with Lorianne Gibson, a good friend of mine, and we we had done uh, Nicki Minaj and Carrie Hilson together. She told me about Big Bang, and she said it's a K-pop boy band. And uh, <laughs> she asked me to get some guys together Benny was first because he he was a uh, he's been kind of rolling with me um, for a minute. What happened was uh, Lorianne Gibson. She's a creative director. She had the account. She called Gil and AP because um, Big Bang wanted an American band, a black band. Right. And so um, Gil called me because we, we had just finished um, doing Carrie Hilson a year with Carrie Hilson. Um, so we were already kind of working together, like it ended yeah. in like November, he called me in January. Called me and he, uh, I guess he said he needed a bass player and a keyboard player. So um, I called him, he was, <laughs> he was, he was, I had to call him a few times and I'm like, dog, you, I'm like, you're about to miss out on <laughs> such like, an opportunity. Trust me, it's a big <laughs> no, I'm like, yo, he's like, answer the phone. <laughs> and um, yeah, man, like, it, I don't know, it just, it, it kind of all like just worked out. You know, because mm -hmm. this uh, it turned into not just a band, but like a brother, like a family. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? And then you know we needed a guitar player, so once we got kind of the core band together, we put out like a social media, "Hey, we need a guitar player." Mm -hmm. Post. My friend texted me and said, "Hey, somebody just tweeted they need a guitarist for Asian overseas opportunity." So I was sitting in the movie theater, it was like 11 p.m. at night. And uh, I remember getting a text and I checked it out, I saw his, his tweet and I was like, this dude is not gonna respond. And I was just like, what do I have to lose? 
I reply back, hey, I got my passport now. I'll leave now if I need to. And I think that sparked something for him, that I was ready. I always travel with my passport. So I called him, we did a Skype interview, and and uh, yeah, he ended up he ended up getting the job. So fast forward, it was all about Big Bang, mm -hmm. and we all thought that it was just another artist. Mm -hmm. And uh, but once we got over to Korea for a production rehearsal, that all changed. Yeah, <laughs> reality and, hit. Yeah, reality yeah. hit. Just in terms of the level of production mm -hmm. uh, for the show. How crazy are the hometown shows for them? Man, it's, it's oh, I can't even imagine. It's yeah, wild, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's, and it's wild. It, Like when we first started, we were playing at the uh, Olympic Park. They have like different arenas in, yeah. the, in the Olympic Park. And uh, it's their 10th anniversary. Yeah. First time they played a stadium as a band yeah. ever. They never played oh, wow. the uh, yeah. um, Olympic Stadium. Right. In Korea. In, in, in Korea. Korea. In yeah. Korea. Yeah. So. That was their first time and sold it out. I think we played two or three nights. And at the end, GD's like, yo, I feel like a rock star. Yeah. Like, this is <laughs> Finally, like, it's only like, in this, this moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This is how it feels. Like, yeah. it's like they really show love. Yeah. Wow. So another thing that's different about the situation is here you have uh, G-Dragon, GD, being the biggest uh, K-pop star. And he's just did their last tour and everything because he has to go into the Korean army. Yeah. Two years. For two years and serve because it's a requirement of yeah. Korea, yeah. South yeah. Korea. Yeah. No all, matter all, who all you man. are, like, yeah. like the whole band. Yeah. The whole band. Yeah. 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 Everybody has to go, yeah. yeah, no matter how famous, no matter yeah. what your status it does is. does not stop the that process. <laughs> yeah, dog. Yeah. You gotta go. Yeah. It's a, like a blemish on your like manhood. If yeah. You if you don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just know they gotta go. Right. You know, other, you know, for our culture, it's like, yeah, I don't know. We gonna yeah, go. yeah, like I'm right. the biggest yeah, star. Yeah. Like we, right. I, I may do something else. But. I mean, for you guys, I mean, you guys are all friends with everyone in Big Bang after yeah. six years. I'm sure. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a family that you keep referring sure. to. Yeah. So like, yeah, is that? I mean, that's you got to say goodbye to them. I mean, temporarily, obviously. <laughs> Hopefully, everything's fine. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It was a longer than usual goodbye. This, right. This last, you know, but. To me, in my experience, it was really bittersweet. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, man. Knowing that you've been with not only GD and Big Bang, but everybody from the staff of YG. And yeah, the man. Crew. Right. Tags, everybody. It's like yeah. you know, you don't know when you're gonna be back with them again. You yeah. know, some of them they said you know they they don't mind going because it'll teach them, you know, about responsibility mm -hmm. you know, outside because they've been in it since they were like 13. And, or oh, younger, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, that's all they know is the entertainment business. Right. You yeah. know, now they're in reality. Right. Yeah. Other, you know, uh, citizens and with the military and it's different for them. Yeah. Now. For us, it's like, man, we've been with y'all, like, y'all are like brothers to us now, you know? So, right. Like, I yeah. hate to see you guys have to go through that. You yeah. Know? And I wish it was something that we can do to but it's really nothing anybody can do because right. everybody goes. Yeah. 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 What's been a special like collective uh, moment for you guys? Like, is, is there like a, a, a moment that jumps up as like it's a really special Big Bang moment or G Dragon moment? Well, yeah. one that sticks out is when Gil went to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Gil. Oh. Wait, so wait. Yo, he's gonna be so mad if we put this on here. Yeah. Yo, Gil went to the bathroom, dog, on the only song in the show where it's just him playing. So in a show, we have time to go to the bathroom and yeah. come back. And it's yeah. probably like three minutes. <laughs> right, right. You know, so, you know, Gil, he, he's like, yo, I gotta go to the bathroom. All right, no, nah, I'll just hold it. I'll wait. And so this, this is in the talk back. And I was like, I hope he don't go at the end of the show when he got to play. So he was like, when the song came up, he said, it's an emergency. I gotta go. Uh, so GD uh, gets in his microphone and begins to ask the crowd to repeat, where is Gil? And louder, and this 20,000 uh, capacity crowd sold out <laughs> all in unison. <laughs> Run, Gil! Run! 
Wild kill. Makes his way back to the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I will say this, he yeah. played that song the best of the entire year. <laughs> yeah. So relaxed. Yeah, he, yeah. Really did. he really did. He really did. He really did. And GD so. enjoyed it. He, he needed the, the laugh and right. everything. Cause it yeah. was, he was very tense throughout the tour. There was a lot going on for him. So everybody needed that, you know, breakaway. You know, yeah, lightheartedness. Kind of yeah. So they, they went, they, everybody went with it, even, you know, Rachel that was calling the show, she was like, all right, they laugh, they laughing in our ears and everything. Right. Yeah. Every, every for, for that moment, everybody needed, needed that. Yeah. Right. Well, make sure to follow these guys on their journey. I'm sure you guys are going to go a lot of really awesome places throughout the next couple of years yeah, until, sir. who knows, sir. until the, the linking of Korea happens again. And um, yeah, it will. got some things in the work. Jam card out. <laughs>